All right, and here we fucking are, ladies and gentlemen, back once again, doing it dirty, the way it was meant to be played. <coughs> Bethesda Game Studios, ladies and gentlemen. Then the game crashed. All right. Try it again. No, okay, it's not going to work like that. All right, data files. Let's see what we need to turn off. Oh, Forgotten City. We just turn that off. It's not the Forgotten City. Is it the Brotherhood? Is it the Cutting Room Floor? Perhaps? Let's just try the Brotherhood of Old. Take that off. No, it's not the Brotherhood of Old. No, didn't want to start it up again, but whatever. We will figure this out. It's probably the cutting room floor, if I'm to be honest with you. Yeah, I thought so. It was the cutting room floor. Alright, so we can enable the other ones that we turned off. Enable Forgotten City and Brotherhood of Old. All right. Content that is no longer present. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Don't remember what content I turned off, but, uh... I guess we'll find out, huh? Make sure that Leveler's Tower still exists. Alright, it does. That means that nothing of value has been lost, assuming anything was lost in the first place. The Inn of Lost Souls. Interesting. Give me one second. I need to uh, I'll tab and find out what mods I actually have installed because I forget what I added in and how to access that. Like the Brotherhood of Old, I need to remember what that one is. Oh, wait, I know what I did. I disabled uh, the Dawnstar thing. Okay, um... Okay, the Brotherhood of Old. How do 
I start? Must have already completed the Dark Brotherhood. Contacted by courier the next time you change locations. Alright, easy peasy. Means I'm going to uh, save right over this. Yeah, what a waste, man. It's a shame that he's dead, huh? Damn bloody shame. What a fucking shame. Treat you the same way I treated him. Say goodbye to your fucking neck. Oh wait, those guys actually did fucking damage. Hold on. Where was all my HP regen? And why was I not able to sprint? Right, it's alt. Okay. Uh... That's a freeze. Interesting. Forgot that this game was this unstable. Alright, we'll try again. Yeah, so why am I taking so much damage? Let's get rid of the storm cloaks. Because we are Imperial. Whoa! What the fuck? I think there's a bug going on with my armor. Hold on. Let me take it off and equip it again. Well, they do damage to me. They actually hurt pretty bad. I don't remember them doing that much damage. See, look at my fucking HP drop, dude. Holy shit. Wait, there are so many storm cloaks here, too. All right, bitch, come in here. Come on. Oh, my God. There's absolutely a fucking bug going on. Because this did not kill me before. Why do I just put on my old fucking armor? Where are my fucking shoes? 
I can't mouse over the guard armor either without crashing. What the fuck? There's absolutely some bugs that were not here before. Why is that? Oh, I see why that is. Because everything dearranged itself. Alright. Hmm. It's very troubling. Everything that I have is still learned. Let's try this again. What's my armor rating? Still shit. Okay. Armor rating of 935, huh? That doesn't make sense. Whatever. I'm going to find whoever did this. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? I did not used to take this much damage. I do not get it. At all. Let's go with this. Just for now. Just so we can clear these guys out. Because I don't understand how I'm taking this much damage. It really doesn't make that much sense to me. Endlessly confused by how they're one hitting me. Even now, she just did like a hell of a fucking lot of damage. Don't want to be looking at this. Please let me look up. Jesus Christ, where are they all fucking coming from? Back here. I cannot figure out where all their damage is coming from. And I crashed right after killing them all. Okay, there are clearly some issues here.
And with that crash, everything reset again. Wow. I don't like this. I don't like how everything is being weird. I think we're going to load a previous save. Why can't you write anymore? I don't know. But I don't think that's like a permanent issue. Writer's block does affect everybody. We're just going to load a previous save. All right. Content that is no longer present, yada yada yada. The reached level five. What? Apparently 845 HP is not enough HP, so I will have to increase that, apparently. Fuck is out. What? Let's just fuck off to White Run. Five hundred and seventy two armor rating. But like if I put on these boots and this helmet, I suddenly have nine hundred and thirty five armor rating. What the fuck? That doesn't make much sense to me. We go to map. We travel the way run stables, we'll be approached by a courier. Right? Where's the courier? Are you him? No, you're your lamb. Yeah, we have Hail Sithis completed. So, where is our courier that is supposed to come and give us? The start of the next quest. If we go to White Run it instead, or Windhelm, sorry. Oh, hold on. Okay, so, no courier. Wait, 
No, that's not him. Where the fuck is this kid? Wait, here he is. All right, great. Hey, courier. Come give me my shit. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Come Note here. from a stranger added. It's beyond imagining. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. Voice acting. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Alright, the Forgotten City. Meet Cassia in the ruins. Wait, this doesn't sound like the Dark Brotherhood one. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, we just got two things. Okay. Well, we're going to do the Forgotten City first. Ash, this is apparently a... Like, this apparently is chock full of story. That's a crash. <sighs> it's not chock full of enough story, I'll tell you that much. I guess. Everything did not reset. That's good to know. Go for a drink. I could use a drink. Seat. Have a bread. Wait until morning. You want a drink? No, I don't. Now please, no more questions. Wasn't asking you any questions. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me. Get up and we can leave. My breast stopped hurting a while ago. No idea why. I wonder if my body is fighting back, rewriting everything I put into it. I don't think that's how that works. Ah, here comes the courier. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I've been looking for you. It's the bubble. I have. Man. Looks like that's it. Oh, time to go. By the best riches beyond imagining, I found these Let words inscribed in ancient you. dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I 
need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. Alright, then why do you feel like everything stopped? I don't know. Alright, riches beyond imagining. Gotcha. Alright, the Forgotten Ruins. I'm here. Jeffrey Sicarius himself has arrived. What up, bitch? That's close enough. Who are you? I'm Jeffrey. I got your letter. Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you're here. Look, I don't know how much time we have left. My brother went down the shaft a few days yeah, ago. You're going to be going down my shaft, sweetheart. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. It could be dangerous, but if anyone can do it, it's you. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. I knew I could count on you. Now quickly, go. I could have said I didn't come down here to help you, and I should have, honestly. If you were reading this... You stand at the entrance to an ancient dwarven city. No doubt you have never heard of it, for in all my travels and all my study, I have never read of it in any text, save for the inscription here. It reads, Those who seek refuge will find peace here, basking in the sun under the ground. Those who seek gold will find riches beyond imagining, but will pay for this folly with their lives, for there is no return to the world of man. Is it possible there is life down there? Is it possible the dwarves are still alive after all this time? As I stand here on this precipice, war raging all over Tamriel, my mind is made up. Today, I take a leap of faith. Beloved reader, Perhaps one day you will join me. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Alright, well. Here we go to Neverland. What are you doing? <laughs> Just cross my arms. You want me to jump down here? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know why I'm just crossing my arms, but yeah, you want me to just jump down here, huh? Do I got that right? Okay. Blow the Forgotten City for a way out. Gotcha. Push her in first. Push her in first. No. I don't want to possibly fail this quest. Is that a, just a random ass dwarven dagger? Yeah, it's just a random ass dwarven dagger. Okay. Just 
Just so you know, after this quest, I'm probably going to go and increase my HP, because, uh... The, the fights against the Stormcloaks, they weren't that tough before. So I don't know what happened, but, uh... Something fucking weird happened. Open the Forgotten City. Wow, the sun under the ground, huh? Burnt corpses, huh? I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go up here. Citadel. Oh. Found your brother. A suicide note. Optional. Alright. Well, uh, this guy was an imperial. All right, suicide note. Who have reached this? I am so sorry you had to find me like this. Be worse, and you will share my fate. I have spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. But there are only two choices. Death, or the door to the house on the lake. I made the mistake of opening that door. I thought I could help them if I found the right one, but whatever I did, it took me right back to that lake house. In the end, all I learned is that some things are worse than death. I urge you to learn from my mistakes best to take your own life now and find out what awaits you beyond that door oh no spooky you don't I've scare me and hidden the key I'll guard it with my eternal soul if I have to but I fear even that will not be enough for the lake house calls to you and when it does you must not listen Altrius. Got contacted by some bitch whose brother jumped down a hole. Then asked me to jump down that same hole and find him. Oh, well, guess what? I found him and he wrote some fucking edgy nonsense eternal soul my ass <clears throat> like to see you try to keep me down here I'll burn that lake house Can't open this door, huh? Okay. Well, I'm gonna equip a torch. Why am I not holding the torch up anymore, though? That's weird. Probably has something to do with Thor's new immersive. Or, uh, the... Immersive sheathing, whatever. Can't open that either. Okay.
Can't open that door. Oh, look, the lake house. Random fucking gloves. Uh, another centurion. This one's facing this way. Means there's. Fuck you. Underground tunnels. Let's go to the citadel first, I think. Unless there are doors over here I can open. And search around it. Doesn't look like it. Come on, steer. Try me, bitch. Let's go to the Citadel. Fuck you. Oh wait, is this door openable? It isn't. What about up here? Is this door openable? No. Is this door? No. There's a, something up there. Okay, Citadel first. Hey, Sausage, how's it going? I haven't been called to by shit, buddy. Songs of Skyrim revised. Alright, let's take that. Ah! A perfectly good cabbage! Down in this city that hasn't been touched in forever. A flute. That's a flute. Oh, money. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. The fucking lighting is pretty awkward. They really should have avoided any perishable foods in Dwemer ruins that aren't used by bandits, etc. Like, what the fuck do they think those items would be good down there? Yeah. Alright, that torch ran out. Okay, if you say so. Death was the better option. It's not an option that I'm taking. Coin purse, what's that? Second letter from the Jarl to Vitus. Dismantle the dwarven busts. Alright, interesting. Two hundred gold. Thanks, asshole. Why is an imperial shield down here? Alright, that's not a real one. The fuck is 
that? All those spider webs. Potion of plentiful healing. Didn't do anyone here much good. Unlock dresser. Requires key. Ooh, they got puzzles up in this bitch, huh? I didn't want to open the Forgotten City. I want to explore this place more. Especially because this doesn't exactly take me anywhere. Oh. The Citadel Balcony. Hmm. Yeah, cool. Great doors there. Knives. Do I miss steam vents? Fuck that thing. A single gold. How are you feeling, Sausig? You feeling better? Hopefully you're feeling better. Fifteen lockpicks, thank you. Soul gem, oil, oh, another letter. Unsent letter. I know this letter will never reach you, but I want to write to you anyway. One of my neighbors here said it might get me closure, whatever that means. I wish I could tell you how sorry I am about what happened. You must be wondering why I just disappeared one day. I think you know I would never leave you, so by now you've probably assumed I'm dead and moved on. I wouldn't blame you if you have. Markarth is a hard place, and you need all the help you can get, and our son will need a father. I just needed to write this down. I love you. Damn. Feels bad. Why is there just random fucking money? Give me that money. 16 gold? 16 money? Hell yeah. Hey, Daku. Uh, hey, Daku, just saying, hey, I got my hands tied doing a thing, and it's still doing the buffering nonsense. Alright, Turkey. Take care, man. Thanks for popping in. I don't give a shit about the lake house door, my dude. The only reason I'm going there is because you won't stop talking about it. Yeah. Because you won't shut the fuck up. Come here, bitch. Come get this work. Nah, bitch. Got another torch going. These lights are really bad. Domora's Journal. I know you're reading this, Father. I may be young, but I'm not stupid. I know you like to go through my things when you think I'm not looking. You got to keep your secrets, and we both know you like to keep secrets, so I'm keeping mine. Sincerely, Domora. Yeah, stick to the man. Automatons. Nice. 
I assume everyone got burned by an artificial sun. Azazel made an artificial sun, but it never got to that part in my story. Kinda don't care. He had that key to hide his failures. If the lake house leads to death anyways, why fucking warn someone against it? Then tell them to die is better. Yeah. I just put, like, every single Dwemer thing they could find featuring random Imperial armor pieces. Thirty lockpicks, okay. All this shit about Dwemer Law, I don't give a shit. <laughs> no. He's a ghost out of pure determination to stop me from getting this key right here. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, now it's calling me to the lake house. Optional, enter the lake house. Is it really optional? I feel like that's not exactly true. Well, he's a fucking piece of shit, yeah. Punch the shit out of that ghost. I'm going to the lake house. Don't tell me what to do, fucker. Don't tell me what to do! You had said, go to the lake house! I'd be like, no. But you told me not to, so here I am. Oh no, it's spooky! It's got spooky all over it. Do you see that spook? Oh. Soul gem fragment, bunch of ruined books. Let me just not give a shit real fast. Dweemer pan. That's not the pan. That's some random dirt. Okay. Let me read Metellus' note. Seven years ago, I discovered this wondrous city uninhabited. Others soon followed, heeding my invitation. And our community grew and prospered under my rule. But as I write this, I am alone once again. For my subjects have been the victims of an unspeakable atrocity. This is why, at the expense of my own life, I must open a portal that will take you into the past, before all this began. Beloved reader, you must go back, investigate what set this atrocity in motion, and prevent it by any means necessary. That could be it. Alright, so the spooky is actually a portal. Cool. Locked with lake house key. Soul gem, healing. Uh, that's all I really give a shit about in that. Oh, sorry, skeleton. Hey, I'm in the past now. Cool.
What's over here? It's a person. What's up, Dooley? Oh, I can't leave. I need to find these twelve first. Where is this? This is a mod. The fuck is the shit? Where is this? This is a, a mod called the Forgotten City. I've just arrived. I did. There was a time portal in there, which brought me here from the future. Yeah, that's something Jeffrey would say. That is actually something Jeffrey would say to fuck with you. The what? We are underground. Oh, I see. Well, I think I could stay with you. Then you're in good company here. Great. Lots of us can think we stay where we are. It's the first day of last year. What year? I guess you hit your head pretty hard coming down the shaft, huh? It's the 194th year of the Fourth Era, of course. How do you know? You seem a little... blue. So I'll make this nice and simple for you. Live by our laws, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Don't hurt anyone. Don't steal anything. Same as anywhere else. Only the punishment here is much, much worse. Is that so? The Earl can tell you more. And thank you for the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Now everyone dies because of that, right? Yeah. No, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Hey, Metellus. The water's right there. Take another one of those. Lycos key. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Interesting. Alright, I'm back, guys. How's it going? You there. Where did you come from? Started the Grey Cow of Nocturnal. What? What are you talking about? I've never met you. You're going to offer me to escort me to see Yarl uh, Metellus. You're right. I was. I'm a time traveler now, if you'll excuse me. Some kind of sorcerer? Uh, well, I don't want any trouble. What the fuck do you mean the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal? Oh! Oh, that's what that strange vision was. Okay, I thought that was part of the quest. No, this is another mod. Yeah, sure. Let's just forget that happened. No problem, dude. Ah, newcomer. You should add on a. You should minutes. eat my asshole like a cupcake, fucker. Hi. Don't talk to me.
Yeah, I was talking about the Great Cowl of Nocturnal. Not, uh, not Forget Me Not. Hi, Hjormund. Sorry to interrupt, dude. Voice acting is pretty good. Yeah, that's interesting. Jeffrey is fucking pissed that he's back in time, by the way. Okay, I went back in time. Punched a dude and punched. A dude in the face for saying not to punch dudes in the face and everyone imploded and I went back in time again again. Great. I'm Jarl Metellus. Tell me, what is your name? I'm Jeffrey. It's always exciting to meet a new member of our small community. Now, before I forget, since you're here for good, you'll need some quarters. Here's a key to the last vacant chambers down in the city, between Brawl and Luki. It's all yours. Now tell me, what brings you to my city? Actually, you sent me here from the future to save this city. I sent you here. I... I'm not sure what you mean. There's the letter you will write shortly after the city is destroyed. Let's see. This is my handwriting. The victims of an unspeakable atrocity. I will open a portal that will take you into the past. You must go back. This... this is real, isn't it? I've even toyed with the idea of creating a portal between two points in time, with Brawl's help. But that's odd. My letter makes no mention of what caused the disaster. I suppose I was in a hurry. Tell me, what's going to happen to us? It was triggered by the breaking of the Dwarves' Law. So the Dwarves' Law is real, after all. Just as we always suspected. But you know who broke it? Who was the culprit? I was. Yeah. <laughs> you? But why? What did you do? I just wanted to see what would happen. You just... Gods! What is wrong with you? Well, it seems you've been given a second chance. I trust you won't make the same mistake again. Now, assuming you can control yourself this time, I need you to do a favor for me. Yeah? What do you want? I need you to investigate the city, talk to my people, help them, if it'll win their trust. You can even go through their possessions, if you have to. You must work out who is going to break the Dwarves' Law. Once you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. As Jarl, I authorize you to go anywhere you need to go, including private homes. But if someone asks you to leave, you should do so immediately. I hope you will get me back to my own time and out of the city. I can't promise either of those things, but I will certainly do everything within my power to help you once you've helped my people. And of course, if you decide to stay, I would make sure you enjoy a comfortable life here. I can't even punch people, now, dude. That's not a comfortable life. Help me. Yeah, I'll help. Thank you. Now, you mustn't tell anybody where you're from, or what may be about to happen here. People do foolish things when they panic. If it helps you, you're welcome to borrow the book on my desk. It contains the names and addresses of my subjects. Just don't show it to anyone. Goodbye for now. 
and good luck. I don't need to tell you what will happen if you fail. Without even knowing it was real? Yeah. All right. Narnabas. Last seen entering palace, locked door behind him. Oh, it's Narnabas. He dabbles in necromancy. Yeah, he's fucked. Quest for help with missing fortune. Uh. There's a lot of people here. Hey, Jeffrey. Notes trespassed in my lake house? <laughs> I don't even know Dwemer Law. Okay, can I get through here? Requires a key. Oh, what if I just do this and select unlock and then open the gate anyways? What if I did that? Oh. It immediately locks itself again, huh? Well, I hope we just sequence broke the quest. Hey, fuckers, how's it going? Oh, you're naked. Oh, God, not again. Please don't hurt me. Thank the gods. Quickly, you have to let me down before that monster comes back. Okay, but please hurry. Isn't this against oh, the dwarves' law? It is. But I think the dwarves are blind to whatever happens in this room. I'm going to kill that monster who calls himself Jarl. So you'll let me go then? Thank you. They'll be here any moment, so be quiet and follow my All way. right. I don't know why you're naked or why you have boobus. But let's go. I just completely sequence broke the quest. Please, make me be reasonable. If you attack me in here, you'll break the dwarf's law and kill us all. After what you've done to me, I just don't care. Ooh. 
boobus. Yeah, she had her boobies out. Talk to Altrius, okay. Yeah, I sequence broke the shit out of that time. Wait, how are you alive? You gave me a oh. bit of a fright. I thought I was in here alone. How did I sequence break the quest? Because I wasn't supposed to be in there for a while. I was supposed to be doing a lot of detective work. I guess I could have fucking gotten through that properly if I had pickpocketed the Jarl. But... Yeah, I sequence broke by just skipping everything. Well, that's a relief. Say, I didn't catch your name. I'm Jeffrey. That's strange. I was just reading an old journal I found here. It was burnt, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. What did it say? It described an event about seven years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the lake house. Led some kind of uprising against a tyrannical Jarl. Breaking an ancient law and triggering some kind of catastrophe. It said most of the city folk were evacuated, and the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Actually, that was I, me. I'm not sure I understand. When I first arrived here, I found your corpse hanging uh, from a tree. I'm sorry, come again. So, your suicide um, note. Let me see that. My handwriting. I have spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles. This is... this is horrible. But I, I don't understand how I could have written it. It's written by a different version of you. I changed the I, past and your fate. I'm not sure I understand. It's, it's clear as that. When I killed the Jarl, I stopped him from opening his time so portal. you're saying, because you stopped a time portal from being opened... I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. Yeah, it never I happened. You saved my life then, and freed most of the people in the process. I suppose I should thank you, even though I don't remember anything. It's just... I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but it seems a shame the city had to be destroyed. Imagine if this place could have been saved. The bean saved. What if we just accuse him? I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Alright, let's go take this book. Well, let's go pickpocket the Jarl for the key. Wait, really? Alright, let's try and actually go through this quest properly. Alright, bathhouse. Oh. Hi, Dwamora. Yeah, I see you're naked. Why are people here naked? Why are there boobies in this quest? Oh, hello there, dear. Newman? Oh my, it's very nice of you to take an interest. Really? Well, you're the first. I sweep the streets. Next to godliness, or so they say. It's not very inspiring. Who's Dooley? Oh, you haven't met him yet. Don't worry. I feel sorry Lives in for a cave. Him. I think most of us. The Jarl decided because he can't work, he doesn't deserve to live in a house like the rest of us. But don't let him drag you into it. I'm quite sure it's imaginary. Uh, well, anyway, that's about all there is about me. Sure, there's more to you than that. The most important thing in my life is prayer. So let me ask you, have you found... Couldn't care less about oh, your God. I see how it is. 
One second, guys. There may not be room in your heart for Mara, but there's always room in Mara's heart for you. I'll pray for you. All right, goodbye, old lady. Time, then. Don't look at me ever again. Don't talk to me. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Working up. What's your story? My story. Well, I'm from Markarth originally. More boobus, but why? Bigger mines as a lad, and after a while, the silver buds made me foreman. I was doing pretty well for myself until somebody decided to knock me down the shaft into this place. I have. I had. A wife and s Meanwhile, I'm stuck down here, supervising workers to earn me keep. Is everything okay between well, you and the workers? I'd be lying if I said that. Well, they seem to have an hard time grasping that somebody around here's got to work the farms. Or, we all starve. Gulver's the worst of the lot. Seems like a decent man at first. But he's got a temper on him. Once, of course, down here with the dwarves, though, a bad temper could land us all in a lot of trouble. I'd keep an eye on that one, if I were you. You don't have a letter here. Sorry about your family, my on. dude. But you have, like, the worst voice I could have ever imagined coming out of someone's mouth. So, please don't talk to me. I don't like any of these people, if I'm to be honest with you. Jarl Tavitas. Time's now to repair the cracked wall pipe in my bathroom and it continues to leak. The whole wall will collapse. Oh, that's the a clue. Oh. Shall suffer for the sins of the one. Whoops, hold on. I didn't realize that was stealing. God damn it. Fuck you, dweamers. It's a cracked wall pipe. It's not there. It's in his bathroom, specifically. So... It's not here. Good to see that clothes and fashion haven't changed at all. What is it? What's your I'm story? Sorry, what's my story? What an oblivion is your story? How dare you come in here like you own the place and expect me to answer the question before I hurt you? I beg your pardon. Cut a single hair on my beard. Cast a single. You might have been somebody important in your old life. You owe me. Down here, you're no one. Here, I own you. And there's it's going to provoke someone to hurt you. Not even a peasant like you would be stupid enough to do that. Everybody. So I'll speak to you and the other peasants as I see fit. And there's nothing you can do about it. Are you sure? Now get out of my 